hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so uh, in the next series of videos we will be taking up or we will be resuming our discussion on control systems so the next series of questions will be related to block diagram reduction i have posted some questions related to block diagram question uh, reduction i think uh, five or six questions i have discussed so this is a very important concept so we'll be discussing more questions on this uh, seeing various types of uh, block diagrams and various ways in which we can approach the problem to reduce it into a simple form so the next series of videos will be related to block diagram reduction so i would like you to please uh, watch the block diagram reduction rules i think there are 10 or 12 rules related to block diagram reduction which i have posted and also the five or six questions related to block diagram reduction which i have already posted so please watch those videos first and then come to this video so this is uh, the question related to block diagram reduction this okay and uh, in the this portion we will be making the necessary changes to reduce it into simple form okay the these two diagrams are the same here in the blue portion we will be making the changes okay here so this is the block diagram now we have to reduce it into simple form now as we did in the previous cases in block diagram reduction you have to pick a point where you can apply the block diagram reduction rule okay so here if you notice this point this you can say this takeoff point as it is called if we shift this takeoff point here then there is a chance that this diagram can become simple this whole block diagram so how to do it now this is basically the rule which will apply is shifting a takeoff point behind a block so if you remember the rule the basic rule is something like this suppose we have a block input output this is the takeoff point the input let's say it is a the gain of the block is g so the output will be ag so this output is ag okay this output is also ag the takeoff point value now when we shift a takeoff point behind the block or anywhere the value of the takeoff point should remain unchanged okay the value of the takeoff point should remain unchanged it means if we shift the takeoff point here the value should remain the same so here also the value should be ag but here this is a isn't it the value is a here so if we add a block g here then this will be called as ag this is the basic thing so we'll be using the same principle here so here it is g2 the value if the let the input here is a okay here it is a let's say so here it will be a g2 so if we shift it here the takeoff point here the value should remain the same it should be a g2 so we have to add a block g2 here okay a block g2 here so when we shift this takeoff point here we will be adding a block g2 here this now it is a g2 now another important thing these two blocks are in cascade 
okay these two blocks are in cascade and we know when blocks are in cascade they get multiplied so this will become together it will be called as g2 h1 this okay now it is simplified again now these two blocks you can see these two blocks here they are in forward path okay now we know that when two blocks are in forward path like this let's say we have a summing point here let's say it is g1 and here it is g2 like this then the simplified one it is simply g1 plus g2 this this is what it becomes the block diagram reduction rule it is okay simply that so here also this will become g2 plus g3 this will become g2 plus g3 because they are both in forward path plus and plus in the summing point so we'll remove this entire portion and we'll replace it with a single block g2 plus g3 this okay this now so this one instead of complicating it like this simply do like this this okay now here this takeoff point here this takeoff point if we shift it here again this will become easy to approach to further simplify it. shifting this takeoff point here okay ahead of a block so how it will be done the block diagram reduction rule it says that suppose we have this like this again this is the takeoff point let's say the input is a so the output will be ag so here the value of this takeoff point is a now the rule says that whenever we shift a takeoff point whether it is ahead of a block or behind of a block the value should remain unchanged it means if we shift it ahead of this block its value should stay as a but here it is ag so here if we keep a block 1 by g we keep it here then this will become a the value will be a okay so we just have to add a reciprocal block okay reciprocal of the gain of this this block which is there so here in a similar way what we'll do when we have to shift this block this this shift takeoff point here what we have to do we simply have to use a 1 by g2 plus g3 block here 1 by g2 plus g3 block here and keep it here we have shifted it here okay so we have shifted this takeoff point here and reciprocal of this block 1 by g2 plus g3 okay now here you see there is a negative feedback unity feedback connection unity feedback connection now we know that whenever there is a unity feedback connection it means h is equal to 1 we know 
it is g by 1 plus g h uh, g h ok pen is not working it is g by 1 plus g h but here h is equal to 1 so it will be simply g by 1 plus 1 g so it will be here g m saying is for this forward path gain ok the feedback path gain is unity so this will become g 2 this whole thing will get eliminated And this will become G2 plus G3 by 1 plus G2 plus G3. This. Okay. This. Again, these two blocks are in cascade. So, this will get multiplied here g1 would get multiplied here so we can simply multiply g1 here okay again these two blocks are in cascade so we can simply write g2 h1 here okay okay again here this is a standard negative feedback connection you see like this uh, we have plus and minus so it is called as g by 1 plus g h so here this is g this is h okay this is g this is h so this will be the c by r will be simply this so it will be a complicated expression so if you want to do it you can simplify it okay let us do that okay so it will be g1 into g2 plus g3 by 1 plus g2 plus g3 okay this is g g by 1 plus again this g1 into g2 plus g3 by 1 plus g2 plus g3 into h this g2 h1 by g2 plus g3 so if you see here g2 plus g3 g2 plus g3 will get cancelled okay this will get cancelled so it will simply become directly if we write if we simplify it it will become also 1 plus g1 plus 1 plus g2 plus g3 1 plus g2 plus g3 that will also get cancelled so it will become g1 into g2 plus g3 by 1 plus g2 plus g3 plus g1 g2 h1 okay this will be the final simplified expression okay you see 1 plus g2 plus g3 here this is g2 plus g3 g2 plus g3 got cancelled this is g1 g2 h1 here 1 plus g2 plus g3 and 1 plus g2 plus g3 got cancelled from both this 
denominator and this denominator. So final expression is this. This is the final simplified expression C by R. So this whole block diagram it got simplified into this. Okay.